Magandang araw mga kababayan. Once again, welcome to our channel. For this video, I will be discussing or showing you how to apply at NBCC or New Brunswick Community College. I will be showing you the step-by-step -step process on how you can get letter of acceptance or LOA from NBCC directly from their website. Now before that, just a disclaimer, once again, hindi po kami professional immigration consultant and this is not a paid advertisement as well. This is all based on naging process and research na ginawa namin in doing our application as well. So kung interesado ka to know more about the DIY or do-it-yourself process and doing the student visa application for Canada in particular, nasa tamang channel ka. So please don't forget to click on the subscribe button para updated ka sa mga susunod na video and for us to reach more Canada dreamers like us. Now to start with, you can simply go to Google and type in NBCC so you can find the NBCC website in particular. Now from there, you can simply click the NBCC link, which should be nbcc.ca. And there you go, you're already on the website of New Brunswick Community College. Now as you can see, the uh, website will show you a bunch of information that you can actually initially explore with, so you can see the necessary or relevant information that you may need, such as the uh, program and courses, also the uh, admissions and finances, and uh, student services, and so on. Now, you may also want to uh, scroll down so you can further see some school information and some relevant school activities that NBCC has for you to have some ideas and facts about NBCC na din, and perhaps for you to have an idea what to expect in this particular school as well. Now, if you will scroll down further, you will see then the uh, six campuses that NBCC has which would be Fredericton Campus, Miramichi Campus, Moncton Campus, St. John Campus, St. Andrews Campus, and the Woodstock Campus. And from there, you can choose which campus you will enroll. And based on research namin, based on the land size, population, job opportunities, and way of living, the three top cities in New Brunswick would be Fredericton, which is the capital, and then St. John and Moncton. And uh, on our end, pinili namin yung Moncton campus. Now, going back sa application process, isa sa pinaka-importanting information na kailang mong malaman is yung availability ng program. And for that, you can click on Admissions and Finances where you can see the uh, International Applicant section and you can simply click on Programs Open for Application. Now from here, you can see the list of the programs that would be available specifically for international applicants along with the corresponding campus kung saan available yung program and the available intake as well accordingly. Now this list is being updated from time to time. So kung hindi mo nakita yung program na gusto mo sa intake na target mo, meaning closed na yun, or hindi na available on that particular intake. Now in this scenario, you may want to consider to uh, select a different program or a different intake or a different uh, campus as well. Or better yet, maghihintay ka na mag-open ulit on a different intake yung program na gusto mo. Now, after checking and selecting your desired program or yung course na kukunin mo, another vital information that you may want to know would be the tuition fee and other fees na kailangan mong bayaran. And for that, you can simply click on the admission and finances again and then click on the uh, full-time tuition and fees. Now, it will show you the actual tuition fees and other mandatory student fees na kailangan mong bayaran. Now, you can see there the uh, one-year tuition fee would be a total of 9468 Canadian dollar. And also, you can see there the application fee, which is 100 Canadian dollars, which is non-refundable, that you need to pay upon submitting your application. Also, you will show there the confirmation deposit, which is 500 Canadian dollars, which is non-refundable as well, which you need to pay then after mong ma-accept the program. That will then serve as your seat confirmation again. Now, you may want to consider scrolling down further so you can see uh, the uh, student fees or other mandatory fees that you need to pay along with the tuition fee and uh, also the necessary uh, rules and regulations when it comes to payments. 
Now, after mong malaman yung mga kailangan mong bayaran, it would be good to know as well yung mga important dates and timelines and relevant sa application and getting the law itself. Now, for that, you can simply click on, again, the admissions and finances. Under that, you can click on the important dates and times. Now, this will show you the academic year and the academic intake accordingly that NBCC has, such as fall, winter, and spring intake. Now, this will also show you the uh, date where they will open the application for those particular intake and also the date where NBCC will begin to uh, evaluate those applications. Now, as you can see, it would take some time for them to evaluate the application from the date they open the application, which is approximately three to five months. Now, on our end, we have applied for uh, spring 2023 intake. We have submitted the application on February 2022. They have evaluated and provided us the ALOA on June 2022. Now, after mo malaman yung timeline mo, you may now proceed in your actual application. You can click on the admission and finances again, and then click on how to apply. Now, that will lead you to these two options, one for Canadian and permanent resident applicants, and of course, international applicants. Now, go ahead and click on international applicants. Now, that will show you, once again, a step-by-step -step guide on how to apply or how to submit your application. Now, once again, for step one, you need to select a program and to confirm the availability of the program. Now, for step two, you need to prepare and submit the admission requirements needed for your desired program. Now, for this, you will be needing to submit the official high school transcript of records and the diploma. Also, the uh, post-secondary transcript or the college transcript of records and diploma. Now, along with that, you need to provide proof of language requirement. For NBCC in particular, instead of you taking the IELTS, you may simply submit what they call the English as a Medium of Instruction Certificate. Next step is for you to again check seat availability or waitlist status of your program. And for this, once again, you may simply check the programs open for application for international students. Next step, you may want to check again the tuition fees and other fees na kailangan mong bayaran such as application fee and the confirmation deposit. Next step, you may now apply online or submit your application. And for you to complete your online application, you will be required to pay the 100 Canadian dollar as your application fee, which is non-refundable. And again, in order for you to complete your application, you need to submit or upload the necessary required documents, such as your high school or the secondary transcript of records and diploma, along with the post-secondary or the college diploma and transcript of records as well, and also the proof of English proficiency or the English as a medium of instruction certificate. And later, I will be showing you saan ia upload or paano isa submit yung required documents. Now, after submitting the application, you may review the admission process. Now, take note, NBCC follows the first qualified, first accepted admission process, meaning qualified applicants who will apply first will be admitted first, and to do so, applicants must submit a complete application package that will be timestamped upon the receipt. Now, once you've been accepted, you will be receiving the letter of acceptance or the LOA already from NBCC. And uh, in order for you to confirm your acceptance, you need to pay the confirmation deposit, which is 500 Canadian dollars that is non-refundable. And that will serve as the seat confirmation as well. And once you've got the LOA or the letter of acceptance, you may proceed in submitting or processing your student visa or the study permit application. Now, since you already know how the process will work, we can now proceed to the actual application process. And for that, you may go ahead and click on the Apply Online button. And that will lead you to this page where you can actually see uh, some of the reminders again before doing or submitting the actual application. Now, it will show you the different payment options you could have. That would be Visa, MasterCard, or they can even uh, debit the uh, following Canadian banks like TD, Scotia, 
BMO, and RCBC. And once again, it will show you some of the information and documents that you need to have in order for you to complete the application, such as the program details, the personal and contact information, along with the emergency contact information, and also the high school information or documents, and the post-secondary or the college documents as well. Now, in doing the uh, application process, as you can see on this page as well, you have the option to save your current status of your application at any time and then return to complete at a later time if you're interrupted or need to gather some information. Now, at this point, once you're ready, you may go ahead and click on the Apply Now button. And that will bring you to these options such as existing international applicant and the new international applicant. And of course, as your first time to apply, you need to click on the new international applicant to register. Now this will show this message, welcome to the NBCC online application. And then go ahead and click on the agree and continue. Now at this point, kailangan mo lang fill upan yung mga kailangang information such as your name, your last name, and also your middle name, and also your date of birth. And also, you may want to provide your best contact email address where you can actually receive any updates or any notification regarding your application. Also, you need to create a password for this account and your email address you have provided will serve as your user ID as well. And then you need to provide or select three security questions accordingly. And then go ahead and click on the register button. And that will lead you then to your NBCC application portal where you can actually complete and uh, submit the necessary documents. Now go ahead and click on the first icon for your personal information. And since na provide na natin yung information natin kanina, it will simply auto populate sa mga field na to, such as your name, your middle name, your last name, and your date of birth. Also, you can see there the uh, question if you have changed your name. For example, ikinasal ka and you change your last name, you simply supply the information. But if not, then you simply uh, put a uh, no on the box. And then, kailangan mo lang fill up yung gender. And then, you can click on continue. Now, you need to answer if you consider yourself as the first generation learner. Now, you can answer yes if ikaw yung unang nakapag-college sa pamilya nyo. Otherwise, you simply put a no. And then, click on continue again. Next, you just need to confirm your citizenship and immigration status in which you can simply choose Philippines for the country of citizenship and then click on continue. Now you just need to answer if you are an indigenous applicant, click no if you are not and then continue. Now for this, you need to fill up the first and the second language. Now you can put uh, Tagalog for the Philippines for the first language and uh, English for the second language and then continue. Next, if you are a person with disability or someone with accommodation and accessibility needs, you simply check on the box. If not, you can simply click on continue. Now you need to provide your contact information. You can simply start up with the uh, address. You can click on the home and uh, provide the necessary information for your physical address or the home address. You can put Philippines and then the house number 
and also the uh, the city and then the uh, province and the uh, postcode and then click on apply changes next would be your phone contact number you can simply choose either the home or the mobile number and then provide the necessary information such as a country code and the phone number itself and then click on apply changes next you need to provide your email address so simply uh, click on the email and provide your email address And then click on apply changes again next you may want to provide your emergency contact person and the contact number you may go ahead and fill up the uh, information for the contact name your relation with the uh, contact person along with the uh, phone number so you can uh, choose the phone type and type in the phone number and click on the uh, right box if you got the same phone number and also you need to provide the address otherwise you can click on the box on the right side as well if you've got the same address as well and then click on apply changes now again at any point on your application you will have the option to save kung ano man yung natapos nyo and you can simply go back later on once you're ready or lit or simply continue doing the application as well next would be your education history now for this part you need to provide your secondary and post secondary school details now you can simply click on add high school you just need to fill up the necessary information for the uh, country where you studied your high school also the uh, province the city and uh, the keyword for the system to find your school in particular now if the system cannot find the uh, school that uh, you've studied you simply uh, click on the not enlist and add manually and you may go ahead and uh, type in manually the name of the school and also the uh, the date where you started and the date you finished studying on that school also the uh, graduation date or the expected graduation date and then click on the apply changes next you need to add the uh, post secondary or the college school details again same thing you can uh, type in the, the country uh, state and the province and the city and the uh, keyword for the school again you can click on search if uh, not found click ok and then uh, move to the uh, or click on the not in list and add manually as well type in as well the name of the school manually and then uh, the start date and the date you finished um, and that school and then the graduation date or the expected graduation date or any certification you have received and then uh, click continue next you need to uh, place the uh, highest level of education either a bachelor degree diploma or certificate now after that you need to upload now the necessary required documents now first you need to upload the uh, high school transcript you may go ahead and click on the add attachment and then choose file and then select and upload the relevant file now same goes with the high school diploma you just need to click on add attachment and then choose file and then select and upload the uh, relevant file now for the post-secondary or the college supporting documents since there's only one field allotted for this one what we did pinagsama namin yung college diploma and college transcript of record sa isang file and then we add it as one attachment next you also need to upload the uh, proof of english language now you can simply again click the add attachment and then choose file and then select and upload the relevant document now once you have uploaded everything again you have an option to save 
the application and then uh, go back on a later time as well or simply continue and doing the application. Now next part will be the program selection. In this section, you just need to provide the details of your desired program. Now go ahead and click on the uh, search for and add programs and then you select the uh, desired intake and also the uh, keyword for the uh, course or program you have selected and then let the system search for that particular program. Now the system will be generating the uh, available program. You can simply confirm by clicking the uh, select button to confirm your desired program. After that, again, you have an option to save or continue with the application. If you choose to continue, you are down on the last part, which is the payment and submission of your application. Now, in order for you to pay the application fee, which is 100 Canadian dollar, you can simply click on the pay now button and then the system will show this message and you just need to click on continue. Next page, you can see the different payment options that you can choose from. And from there, you simply click on the desired payment option. Now, if you choose to use the uh, credit card, you simply input the card number, the expiry, and the CVD number. And then click on pay with my credit card. Now, once the payment has been successfully processed, the system will lead you on the last page, which will show the submit the application button. However, since I'm just doing the simulation for this particular video, I will not be able to show you the last page. However, again, take note, you need to click on the submit the application button on the next page after you have made the payment so you can complete the application process. Now, by the way, on the earlier part, when you did the registration, after that, you will be receiving the welcome email from NBCC confirming that you have created your application portal already. Also, once you have successfully processed the uh, application fee payment and you have clicked the uh, submit the application button, you will then be receiving the email confirmation from NBCC that you have already applied for the program that you have selected. Now after that, this is the point where the waiting game begins until the NPCC will provide you the letter of acceptance or the LOA once you get accepted on the selected program. Now once accepted, after the NBCC have evaluated your application, you will then be receiving the letter of acceptance or the so-called LOA. Now, along with the LOA or the letter of acceptance, you will be receiving as well some uh, instruction and information on how you can confirm the seat. And that is by paying the 500 Canadian dollar as the confirmation deposit. And that will serve as the uh, seat confirmation as well. And that should include some information or instruction and relevance to the uh, student visa application. And also, it will include the uh, co-op letter if that is applicable for your program. And yes, ganun nga po ang process in order for you to get the LOA from NBCC. And kung umabot ka sa puntong ito, believe ako sa determination mo. So laban lang kabayan para sa pangarap at sa pamilya. And please don't forget to click on the subscribe button. This will be a great help for us as well. And uh, hanggang sa muli, hanggang dito na lang. Thank you for watching.